In this tutorial video, I will explain how you can create a simulation of a level crossing. That is where the crossing drops down and the cars have to wait as the train rushes past and then once the train passes, the crossing opens up again to let the cars move again. So we should start with the green block, of course. Then we need to upload our sprites. You can, of course, search in the Scratch library, but since this we need a train, it's probably better just to do a Google Images search. For this particular search, it's probably best to have a cartoon looking train, which will fit a bit better in with Scratch. So I found my image, I'm going to screenshot it, Command Shift 4 on a Mac or Apple. Then I go back to Scratch and I go down to where I can import. There's it, my screenshot on my desktop. So I open up my screenshot. First, I want to edit the image, get rid of the background tidy it up a little bit because the background will look messy and scratch. Then I click upload sprite and I can select, if I navigate to my desktop, I can select where I put this particular train. There it is. And now it should import into scratch. Now that I have my train, I want to bring it down to size because you can see it's taking up almost half of the scratch area. So I highlight it, drag and drop and highlight it and then drag it much smaller. I get rid of the cat because I don't need the cat for this project. I drag and drop again, select the area I want to make smaller and reduce it. Now back to do another search, level crossing. Now that one looks good but maybe a bit too complex so find a suitable level crossing that I can import. Cartoon style some of these might be more suitable. I think this is the one. So I will screenshot it, Command Shift 4. And once again, I want to edit the picture a bit. So I'll navigate to where my screenshot is. Remember, screenshots take a little while to move to the desktop once you do them. There's my screenshot now. Double click it. And then I want to edit it again using the function here. So take away the background. Okay, looks a lot better now. So I think that's right to import into Scratch. So I'll go to Scratch, upload my sprite, search for where I put it, on my desktop somewhere. Importing it, which can take a little while. Okay, and there's my level crossing. Now I want to edit this level crossing a little bit because remember we're going to need two animations. One of the level crossing up and one of the level crossing down. So I bring the same image I've just imported into Scratch into sketchpad.io and I'm going to focus just on this section with the barrier. So I'm going to focus on editing the barrier. So first I open up the picture again and you can see I've now I've just got a version of the barrier without the rest of the level crossing and I'm going to delete the rest of the background using the editing schools tools. Now it's important to just have the barrier because I want to combine that with the original image so that I have two settings one where the level crossing is down and one where the level crossing is up. So you can see here I'm going to remove the barrier from this picture so I've only got so I've only got the rest of the level crossing. I'm going to spin this around so it's facing shut. So it looks like the level crossing is closed, blocking people and cars. And then we add this part. So basically we've created a new image where the level crossing is down rather than up with a little bit of editing using Sketchpad. Okay, now this is our second costume for the level crossing. So we're going to import this once we get rid of the background and tidy it up a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to upload that sprite. We'll click on it and import it. And so now our level crossing has two different costumes, up and down. You can see one of them's really big. And you can also see that it's listed as a separate sprite. We actually want them to be together in the same sprite, 
the different costumes. And we also want to create a road or a road and a railway. So we're making the road now in scratch backgrounds. And the next thing we need to do is put the train so it appears like it's on the track. So the level crossing is at the road to block cars and people and the train should appear to be on the tracks. Finally, we've got to make some minor changes to our level crossing so that it is the right size and the same size as the other because you can see one of our level crossings is much bigger than the other one. So we're going to have to change things. So firstly, we need to put them together because currently they're separate sprites and they should be one costume. So I'm going to drag that and combine it with the other sprites to put them together. Well, I've got to upload this as a separate costume because I uploaded it as a separate sprite. Actually, they're one sprite, but two costumes. So I'm going to upload the costume once again. I find a new one, and they should both be here. So one sprite, two costumes is what we want. Good. Now, obviously, one of the costumes is really big, which is going to look a bit strange. So we need to highlight the whole area and drag it and reduce it so it's about the same size as the other costume. You can see now they're about right. And so that's how you can import your train and create your level crossing sprite. In tutorial 2, I'll explain how you can add sensors that detect when the train approaches and when it has passed.